Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, y'all? It is me. It is I. It is he who runs this podcast. That's right. Locked out, man. What's going on? What's going on? And I'm back with another Lockout Men podcast for you guys this evening. Today's Wednesday, and I have a interview. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into this uh, interview right quick that I got with this young lady that I'm about to talk to tonight. But before we get into all that, if you guys like what you hear or see for that matter, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more content like this. I am your humble host, Lockout Men, and who I have with me on the phone tonight is Miss Cambria. How you doing today? I am fine this fantabulous evening. I had a had a had a pretty productive day today. You know, got my uh, got my load to where it needs to be. Had to wait a couple of hours and then get another load, and now I'm here. Luckily, luckily they got me unloaded. I didn't have to wait until tomorrow morning, but still got to wait until tomorrow morning anyway because that's when my hours will come back. How about yourself? How are you? Wonderful. Um, just waiting on a load as well that picks up tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. So you on your so you on your ten hour too? Yes, I am. Wait, wait. I've been looking forward to it all day. Uh, you say you've been looking forward to it all day, huh? It, it was. It was. Yes. It wasn't that bad, was it? It wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't. It wasn't bad at all. Oh, okay. I have just been waiting to just sit down. <laughs> you say get get that off. Not drive. You say get off get off your feet, or in other words, get off your behind and just get some rest in, huh? Right. All right. right. So, what part of the world you in right now? I am in Robinson, Illinois. What? No, you're not. You you're not in Illinois. Yeah, I am in Robinson, Illinois. No, no, you're not. You you're not in. Nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. You're not in Robinson, Illinois. I'm gonna have to give you a negative buzzer for that, right quick. Hold on, right quick. I'm I'm gonna have to give you. Why is that? Because you can't be in the same state that I am in. I am in Hazel. Well, I'm out. Well, wait, wait, wait. I'm outside of Illinois. Actually, I just left. I just left up out of Elwood, Elwood, Il- Illinois earlier. So right now I'm in Hazelwood, Missouri. Probably about maybe about 10, maybe about 10, 15 minutes from the state border. Man. <laughs> yeah i am i am back up in the midwest uh i used to do a lot of um i used to do a lot of uh texas runs but um but i am back up in the midwest doing the midwest damn thing hold on for a minute i gotta do something hold on There we go. That's that's a little bit better. That bad boy was bright. All right. So you're up in Illinois. Where are you heading to? Uh, or where you you haven't got a load yet? But let me rephrase that. Where 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 did you come from to to be in Illinois? Actually, to tell you the truth, I've been in Illinois since last night. Coming. Oh, oh, okay. That's that's about what about five, maybe three, three and a half, three and a half miles. 
not about three about three and a hundred three hundred and fifty miles, give or take. I know Kentucky is like give or take. Yeah, I know Kentucky is like maybe about what three four hours, at least. I want to say yeah. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That is what's up. All right, so for everybody that needs to know who you are, introduce yourself to my listeners right quick. Well, hello, everyone. It is an amazing day, amazing afternoon, amazing evening with Cambria. I am 29 years old. I have been a trucker for the last years. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's always been something that I've wanted to do. I am a master of many crafts. Craft, I should say. I am very hands-on. I like to be just someone that has their hand in everything. Okay. So you say you, you're, you're a jack of all trades over here basically all right all right so uh before you got into trucking did you uh did you go to did you go to trucking school or did you uh go to a trucking I company did. what school what, what school and what was your experience with it i i went to a academy in waco georgia wait who academy Oh, Trusty Swift. Academy. Oh, Swift. Okay, okay, Swift. All right, all right. We want to have to go. Okay, Swift. We want to have to give it that. All right, what was your experience uh, with uh, Swift Academy? It was amazing. Um, I can honestly say I found a family there. I did. Okay. We, you know, we laughed, we cried, we 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 argued, we fussed, but at the end of the day, when it was all said and done, and we all went our separate ways, I must say that now, mm-hmm. uh, two years later, I still can pick up my phone and call and it's like I don't know <laughs> well, that's... I don't know it's, it's just it's just wonderful like it's, that's all I can say it's, it's wonderful well that's what's it's up it's wonderful my experience that's what's up. That's what's up. It's it's good to have uh to, to have a good experience with uh you know with your with with your uh, trainer or coordinator for that matter and if you could still pick up the phone to this day and and still chop it up with them that's 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 even good you know what i'm saying a lot of people a lot of people uh has some bad experience with their trainers and they don't even want to they don't they they want to put that in the trash can in their memory like no nah, i don't i don't want to remember none of that but uh the swift academy Uh-oh. I can honestly say, I can't totally, honestly, like, wholehearted say, like, they are the reason, like, my instructors are the reason why I'm still here today in the trucking industry. Because I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I gave up on myself a long time ago. Well, as far as like when I was in school, I didn't, I didn't think that I was gonna make it, so I just gave up. No, you can't give up. Hey, you... Like I gave up before I could start, but it was them that kept giving me the motivation and the push that I needed, and I just thank God for them. I really do. Would you? What, I really, really do. What? How? How many people? How, how how many people was 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 in the class with you, and how many people uh, that ended up being the last man standing? 
It was 30 of us <sighs> in my class. Damn it, man. First day. Mm hmm. I want to say out of my class. Out of my class, I want to say maybe five. Ooh, out of out of thirty. That was the last. Yeah. That was the last man standing. The wow, out of thirty. Woo. Yeah, I I, I want to say it was almost. I want to say if, if not thirty, mm-hmm. it was almost thirty. Because I remember we were the biggest class. You know, it's it's funny that uh, that that these trucking companies takes on these exact uh, you know this exact exacerbated group of people, man. Like you know, they bring in they bring in thirty, and then they just weed them out one by one. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess that's why. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's survival of the fittest. It's, Right, right. I mean, you know, they, you know, drug, you know, some of them, some of them get kicked out because of drug testing. Some of them get out, get kicked out because they couldn't, uh, they couldn't get their permits. Some of them get kicked out because of, uh, they can't drive the truck or whatever. But it's just that they bring on so many people that, you know, I, I, I kind of wonder how would it been if all 30 people would have got <laughs> would have got through the got through the you know got through the training and got hired on <laughs> you know would I it, mean I don't I don't know but I, like I said with the class that I worked with in it's like we were hybrid honestly mm-hmm. because the reason why I say we were hybrid when When our team, when our classmates started falling by the wayside, mm-hmm. we just migrated. We, we we migrated ourselves to other classes, and we all became one big happy family. Okay. It's like you couldn't. Like it, we can, we became so blended until you couldn't tell. Who was in this class? Who was in that class? We were, when you see one of us, you see us all. And that was it. Okay, okay. We just blended in together. So, after. So, in a sense, mm-hmm. five turned back into 30. Mm-hmm. In a sense. Okay, so after you uh after you pass and got your license and everything, of course you rocked it out with with Swift. Um, Correct. Uh, you already mentioned that you that you're in the game for two years, and I you know I went back into some of the uh, I went back into some of the group posts that uh that you that you posted in. So, how how long you was with Swift? I mean, how how long you was with them before you decide to uh, go to another carrier? Thirteen months. So about a year and a couple of months, huh? Or a year and right. a month, actually. So right. what? Uh, why? What was the reason you left Swift? I mean, I felt like my time. My I, I felt like my my time. It was time for me to, to, to get out the nest. Okay, okay. It was time for me to fly on my own. Okay, okay, okay. But your time, your your time was swift. Uh, the actual company. 
the actual driving and everything was was pretty cool. What what was your experience? I mean, what was your experience through through the thirteen months? Um, it was amazing to say the least. It it, it was um, it was very it was very eventful. I ended up I either, I ended up doing things that I said I would never do. Which was what, up, what was give give an example. What what you end up doing driving that night? <laughs> um, no, I mean because I prefer to drive at night. Honestly. Okay. I don't like traffic. I'm I'm I don't I don't like traffic. If, no, I, no. But anywho, um I always said that, you know, I wanna be a leader. But at that time, Mm -hmm. I didn't feel as though I was comfortable enough and confident enough in myself to want to lead people, especially behind the wheel of a semi. Okay. Okay. I still felt like I didn't have enough experience. Mm -hmm. I did not have enough time under my belt to lead anybody. I mean, basically, I would be the blind leading the blind. So... So but, um, I I think I, I think what I'm getting out of this is that you wanted to be a trainer. I be, it's not that I wanted to be a trainer. I became a trainer. Okay, so you so you was a train so you was a trainer at Swift. Right, I became a trainer. Okay, I jumped head first. Okay, I did. and then you and then later on later on that line you just just felt like you like you just said you was the blind leading the blind how how was how was that experience what, what was your experience with uh training other trainees um it actually it came that well, it came natural mm-hmm. to me and it scared me for a little it did, cause I would feel myself saying, I, you know, I could feel myself evolving. I, I would say it's like an out of body experience. Kind of. Okay. Like when you know you make up in your mind that you're not gonna do something because you know you're gonna fail at it, but you end up doing it anyway. And it's like it's second nature to you, and you're it's like you're outside your body just looking at you performing in something that you say you would never do, and how well you're doing. All right. So you f- that that's, that's 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 what I had. So what so what was what what was the um how how many have you trained and uh, how many have you trained and how many was able I to. Four wonderful women. Okay. Who are still driving today? Oh, okay. So they are. So through through you, through you, they was they was able to they was able to get to get on. Uh, you know, get get on with the company and everything. How you know once right. once now you say you train four women. How was the how was the pay structure for you for for you? The, for you, the trainee, I mean, the trainer, because I know that you would get uh, their miles, but was there any other, uh, was there any other incentives that they gave you guys for, for training? I mean, no, not really. I mean, I just had no, not no. 
Well, you now you now you mentioned that you 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 left Swift because you wanted growth, but I mean you was a train you 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 was a trainer. How how long was it? How long was it before you became a trainer? Uh, was Swift in your thirteen months there? I was six months in. So whose i whose idea whose idea was it to 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 have you to to have you to start training was did did you just get the call or you call them and say hey you know I'm interested in training or did you get the call from your fleet manager how how did that work um honestly honestly to tell you the truth mm-hmm. true story true okay story, okay okay I. I had a young lady. She did now our 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 relationship started before um I was hired. I and we ended up meeting in truck driving school. Mm-hmm. And I remember I was a fresh C D L holder. When I say fresh, I mean I had just got, I had just received my paper the day before, mm-hmm. and went to the DMV that afternoon, the day before to pick up my my paper copy for my CDL. Okay. I remember coming back to the yard. She was struggling trying to get her maneuvers down mm-hmm. or the life of her she could not get her maneuvers down so we cried together mm-hmm. and it was something it was something about her that set my soul on fire I would say okay to want to help lead people into the greatness of trucking, as I say, as I would say. Okay. okay. Because like me, she wanted to give up, just go back home, and just get her a regular job. But I told her that we were going to keep in touch. We were going to go over pre-trip together. Mm-hmm. We were going to find a way for her to get her maneuvers down. Um, so she ended up calling me one day after the day she ended up getting her CDL. She called me and before I could answer the phone and say hello, before I could say hello, she was already crying. And her thing was, if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, you know, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here, you know. Okay. And, you know, it, it really kind of makes me very, it really kind of makes me emotional right. to know that I, you know, I, I helped you. Exactly. You, know, you, you, you put that much trust in me to get you to where you wanted to be. So, she was with a company um, for a year, and she was like, I want to come back to Swift. So, I told her, no, she was with Swift, I mean, she was, she was with the company that she was with for eight, eight months, mm-hmm. or something like that, or something or another. But anywho, um, she told me she wanted to come back to Swift. So I told her, nobody, I mean, I just told her flat out, like, I told her, I said, nobody's going to put up with your attitude. <laughs> so it would be better if I just become a trainer mm-hmm. because I can deal with your attitude because anybody else will put you off, your, off their truck because you, you know, you don't want to listen. You want to be baby. You're spoiled. And you have no filter. Oh, okay. So 
I mean, nobody's going to put up with that. So I might as well become a trainer so that you can make it over here. And that is when you just you, life as I knew it changed you, you, from me being just a regular driver. To being a uh, Swift trainer. That's what's up. That, that's what's up. All right. So you so you you decided to leave. Uh, I came across a few of your posts uh, in some trucking groups. Uh, um, now you you had an incident with with trying to get with another uh, trucking company. Uh, Correct. Right. What was what what was what was the issue in that? Basically, they contacted me and told me that they found, you know, illegal drugs in my system. When I know that was not true, so I. You know, I was very distraught about that. No, you know, no one wanted to be bothered with me after they found about found out about it because I'm a very honest person. I believe you start out telling the truth, mm-hmm. then you won't have to continue telling the truth because what you said has already been proven and verified. You tell a lie, you don't have to tell another lie to keep up with that one. And yeah, it's just you gotta, gonna be alone, gotta, never in it. Yeah, if if you know, they always say the truth will set you free. But uh, you right. know, but if you tell if you tell a lie, you gotta keep that lie going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, you tell the one lie and then, you know, you you, you gotta you gotta continue to marinate that lie until it becomes truth, you know? So this was I'm not sh- now this was this this they they told you that that you that you failed that you they told they told you that you failed the drug test I mean what was it was it urine was it hair follicles what what was it hair follicles Oh they did a hair follicle on you What did right. did did they say did they say what was the drug or or they just said you just cocaine. cocaine? Right. Cocaine? Yeah. Mm. That's that's a that's a hell of a drug right there, man. Cocaine. That's woo. Um I'm sure you didn't do cocaine though, right? Oh, I know I did not. <laughs> so And I- you know, people always say, you know, I know you can't listen to what other people say because that's like you know, excuse my language, but just like well, just like just it, opinions are just like buttholes. Everybody has Exactly. Um, everybody. You know, I mean, you know, unless you fall, unless you have like combed yourself or morphed yourself to be in this person's body, you don't know what this person has done or has not done. But you know, everybody. I remember when I made that post. I I received so much backlash. And so many negative. Yeah, face face comments. face Facebook does that to you. You know, you got a lot of you you got a lot of keyboard cowboys out there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, mm-hmm. you but, I know. But you said you never you said you never use drugs. You 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 never use drugs. So how I mean. You 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 never used drugs, so how was it that you was able to fight uh, to fight that? Because you know you you said and you also said in your post that you know you 
you know, you was getting blackballed by all these other all these other trucking companies that you've been trying to get into because of the because of the drug tests. You know, because usually right. they usually they ask you, have you failed, you know, if you failed a drug test or whatever. And then you want to be honest with them and be like, well, yeah, I did. But but let me explain. And then, boom, they'll shut you down before you can even explain. Right. So uh, so you you was at it says here you was at a pre, you was at a previous company. uh they terminated you before you can quit. What what was the termination for? Was it was it because of the drug test? Mm mm. You you don't have to ask Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so Yeah. So the so of uh, of course you try to get in with uh with with a few other companies. Uh, that that sort of black that sort of blackballed you, um, and it spiraled. Um, at you know, when I look back over my last, what's this April? Mm-hmm. When I look, let's see, I, I put that post up in the middle of December. Well, yeah, my last four months, I, honey, I can, um, sir, I can tell you. Tell me. I can honestly tell you. Tell me. Tell me. And I'm being utmost honest here. Be, be honest. If, if it had not, if it had not been for Jesus unchanging un- hand and the strength from my mother my godmother my mother my grandmother and my godson telling me not to not to give up to keep pressing on you, I wouldn't you, you you wouldn't I, I, know you wouldn't know you wouldn't know where you would be right now. I, I honestly I don't because I have I have been living in silence, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, that very post. Had had me faced with something that I thought that I would never come across ever in life. Well, and it's, I don't know. Well, as you said, what by the grace of God, because you know I, I'm I'm a believer. You know I'm a believer in faith. No, I like that, and I I definitely uh, have God in my life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, very, very, very blessed over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, if it wasn't for him, if if it wasn't for him or her, or you know the Almighty, you know I I wouldn't be here today. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Being, I can't say anything but amen for that. Yeah. So being that uh being being that you uh you know you you kept pressing on, what was uh uh finally uh a company gave you a chance. What um you you wanna name that company or or you you just wanna just uh, okay, sure. LTI Trucking Services. LTI. Out of St. Louis. They okay. gave me a chance. So how, how? After two, not one, mm-hmm. not two. Remember, I said. Remember when I said the, that post mm-hmm. led me down a road to to you know a topic. 
that no man, not no male or female, wants to go through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I went through that with an with an owner operator. I went to another owner operator. Experienced some differences. Um, and hop right in the truck with LTI. Okay, so you uh, so you went with a you went with a couple of owner ops that that uh, that gave you the opportunity, but obviously the experiences wasn't all that great. So when you jumped on with LTI, I mean, uh, was you was you was you up front with the uh, with with the drug test thing, or you kind of or you kind of just left that out? when when you was talking to the recruiter to get on with LTI? I mean, I was up front. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that, you know, you know, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. So being, uh, you know, they, but they gave you, they, they gave you the opportunity and you're, you're still rocking out with them to this day. Right. All right. So before you, uh, what, what you was doing before you got into trucking? What, 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 what would you, uh, what, oh, wow. that what, was what, a, what you was doing? That was a whole nother life. A whole <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh Lord. All right. That was a whole nother life. Um I I did it all. I I worked in retail. I worked in retail. Um I was a customer service rep in a call center for the longest. Okay. Um I worked for an airport shuttle. Um I have a chance to, you know, be on the, how can I put it? I got a chance to step my foot in the door at the field. Um, went to school. I, you know, I. So you, you pretty much, I, you pretty much did it all. You, you pretty much did it all. Yeah. Pretty much. So what, <laughs> yeah. so what, what was, um. What was the thing that brought you that brought you in trucking? Somebody somebody inspired you or you just what? One one day you just woke up and you wanted to be a truck driver? Honestly. Mm-hmm. Um I was tired of not being I was, you know, I, I was really tired of not being something. I mean, because with the jobs that I had, yeah, they were nice, but they were just jobs. You you can pick up and be and work in a deli anywhere. You can pick up and work in a retail store anywhere. Anybody can do that. Anybody can walk off the street and do that. But not everyone can walk in to a job and say, "I want to drive." Here. Exactly. <laughs> takes a takes a special kind of person to, to to actually want to be behind the wheel of a uh, of a big rig. You know, it takes a special kind of person to to uh, live this over the road life. You know, this loner life pretty much because you're alone in a truck you know tw- damn near 24 7 you know what i'm saying well 24 24 5 or you know whatever the case if you're a regional driver you know you get to go home every weekend so but um if you're over the road driver you you you, you pretty much you know in the truck you know along with your thoughts and you know, and all that other good stuff. So yeah, you, not not everybody can can walk off the street and oh, and right. you know and, and jump into a truck and say, hey, you know, I I want to drive a truck. You know, gotta gotta right. be a special gotta be a special kind of person for that. So, and you know, the thing that I get the most is 
oh, all you do is sit behind a wheel and drive. Mm-hmm. We all get that. <laughs> yeah. It's, we, it's, it's quite we, the contrary. Yeah, we all, oh, we I mean, all get that. You have everybody, I don't know, like, I just never understood. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people a lot of non a lot of non truck drivers don't understand that because they only see they only see they they outside looking in you know what I'm saying right. or like you only sit behind you only sit behind the wheel of the truck that's all you do is drive and yada 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 but they don't understand the 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 legislation the 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 dealing with the shippers and receivers and you know dealing with traffic and the uh, and the regulations and the HOS and this that and the third it's a lot it's a lot that you know not it, it all, really is. yeah it's a lot you know we don't just sit behind the wheel of the truck and just drive all day i mean you know yeah that's that's the main ingredient driving all day but Still, no, we, we still deal with we still deal with a lot of intricate things. You know what I'm saying? A lot of intricate things that we that we deal with out here. Like as like right now, like this COVID nineteen thing, you know, we, we dealing with that. Right. You know, there's a lot of places that we that that was normal to us truck drivers like going in getting food and going in you know talking to shippers and receivers and all like that to a right. whole to a whole new normal of of no you know no restaurants being open for us you know what i'm saying uh, uh shields up on the shields that uh plastic shields now in the truck stops you know, shippers and receivers not letting us in, you know what I'm saying? Not letting us in, you know, to use their facilities. Right, sweet hell of snow. You you gotta stay out the door. Right, right. So so with this uh so with this situation, how how you handling it? How 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 you handling it, uh the 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 uh the virus thing that's going on right now? How how did that touch you? Well, I have, I, I mean, I just do, I do what I have to do. Like, you know, I wash my hands a lot more. I sanitize my hands a lot more. Um, I make sure that, you know, I'm cleaning and mopping my truck every night, mm-hmm. every morning. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, I'm just taking more precautions. I continue to, um, I continue to drink plenty of fluid. Well, I actually increase my fluid intake. Um, I, I take my vitamin C. I take vitamin, my vitamin D every morning. I take my, I, I chew up two airborne tablets. I I just do every possible thing that I can to try and stay safe. You know, and I just stay prayed up, honestly. Okay. Okay. That's, that's about all I can do. Yeah, that's about all we can do. You know, that's about all we can do. Have uh have have the situate ha have the have the situation out here curved you as far as as far as uh food uh, have you had any experience with restaurants not serving you or or any restaurants that's 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 uh that's being some kind of way towards truckers actually no sir i have not i have truly been, i have truly been blessed all of the truck stops that I have went to and everything, like, they still allow us to walk in there. And, you know, even though with everything that's going on, they still treat us like human beings. 
honestly. Okay. They do. Um, I had one restaurant, and this was just recently. I had to stand in the drive through window. Or stand at the drive through window. Right. That was it. But other than that, nope. Okay. You know, so I've been blessed. I have not had that problem. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, uh, so what well, LTI are? Are you are you over the road driver with them? You're a regional driver. What was what's, what's regional? Are you regional? So where? So you you mentioned? Did you did you say you mentioned that you was from Georgia? Yes, I am. Home of the peaches. Okay, okay. So you so Georgia? How was it? Um. So, uh, how how was it growing up? Uh, growing up in Georgia, a young a young Cambria. How how was it coming up? Life wasn't always fun. Uh, I came from a family of one. Uh, I was the only child that my mother had. I can't, you know, it was me and my mother and my grandparents and my dogs, of course. But it was very lonely at times. But because I didn't have any children to play with, I would try to make friends, but, you know, that's another story for another time. <laughs> But anyhow, <laughs> I, I hear you. I hear you. All right, so you know, it, it was all over. It was all well, for the most part. It was great. All right. Do you have kids yourself? I don't. Oh, okay. 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 So, uh, so what's 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 your status out here? You uh, you married, single, uh, significant other, uh. <laughs> I am single as a dollar bill. <laughs> you say single as a dollar bill out here. So, how do you how, how do you handle how, how do you handle uh, truck drivers that 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 try to that try to come up on you that that try to that try to move that that try to move on you that try to shoot their shot at you. Anyone, I I really haven't had anybody that was genuine enough for me to give my time to. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's that's an honest exception. That's that's a very honest exception. You know, a lot of a lot of guys out here, a lot of guys out here, a lot of truck drivers out here. You know, they. You know, we especially from coming from a male point of view, you know what I'm saying? We 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 had this stigmatism, you know, we got females all over the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Being the truck driver. We got we got females in different area codes. <laughs> Not all of us, but you know, but that's what it is, you know. And some you know, some guys try to shoot their shots with with some lady truck drivers out here that don't give them don't that don't give them a time of day, you know. But I was just trying to see, you know, I was just trying to see, you know, from the female truckers that I have talked to on my podcast, you know, just get some advice. What, what advice that you would give a truck driver to? Uh, how would you want? How would you want a male truck driver to confront you? I mean, treat me with respect. Don't don't treat me like like I'm just. Like I'm just something to do. Treat me like you would want somebody to treat your daughter, or your mother, or your grandmother. Like me personally, I am—I don't know. Like I'm a old spirit. I still believe in, oh, uh, you know, hello, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Can I, you know, can we exchange numbers? 
Okay. And go you, on a date. Okay, you old school. Okay, that's what's up. That's yeah. What's up. Okay. All right, you old school. Even though you're still young, but you 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 got some old school uh, got some old school tendencies. That's what's up. That is what's up. And that's and that's uh and that's that's good to hear, you know. Hey guys, you hear it, right? She wants to be treated with respect. All you have to do is come up to her and say, Hey, hi, how you doing? What's up? I don't know about the uh I don't know about the um COVID nineteen thing now, you know, that's that's going on right now. But um but yeah. Oh yes, hey. um six feet away, please. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> please is, stay is, six feet. Away. You say you say six feet. You say stay six feet away, huh? <laughs> right. So, uh, so lady truck driver, what 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 advice would you give to? Uh, what advice would you give to to uh, to uh, female truck drivers that's coming into this industry? What what advice would you give to them? Don't let anybody. But Jesus said you what you can and cannot do. Mm-hmm. That's it. Nothing. Don't. Don't take anything out here for granted. Mm-hmm. Make short-term goals for yourself. No out, no going out the door. As soon as you get your CDL in your hand, know what you're going after. I don't care if you have to buy you a thousand sticky notes and put them everywhere. Um, put them everywhere so that you will never lose sight of your dream. Um, have fun. Laugh. See the world. Get paid to do it. Just don't let your mind psych you out of being a truck driver. Okay. If you necessary, if you really feel that you couldn't do it, you wouldn't have passed the CDL test. Exactly. So you, my my thing is just like I told the instructor at the driver's license place. He said, oh, I know you, I know you're going to fail. Mm. Um, he, no, well, no. He said, oh, I thought you was coming up here telling me that you failed. Because I was so ready to get $45 from you again. Mm. I said, you were only going to get $45 from me one time. <laughs> That's what's up. He wasn't going to get a second try. That's what's up. That is what's up. I have to give you a mic drop for that. That's what's up, man. Well, well Ca thank you. Cambria. Cambria, the truck driver, man. Well, I want to thank you for coming on to the show. I really do appreciate it. You know. Chopping it up with me, tell it, uh, you know, chopping it up with me, giving, you know, giving your time and talking to me and and uh, talking to me and my viewers and my listeners out there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, oh, it was a pleasure. It uh, really was. Oh, uh, you definitely, definitely. But uh, the company you with, you you comfortable with the company you with now? You got what's your what's your goals for the future? I am looking to start my own trucking company in a couple of years. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. You definitely need. To, yeah, don't, 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 don't think about it now. Right, right now is it's it's not the time. Right now, they, yeah, right, right now is not the time. But down the line, when you get a couple more years up under your belt, and. Um, and uh, you see what this uh, comp, uh, what this industry could get, you know, could give you and bring to you. And especially if you're saving up right now, you, you you'll do it. You'll do it. You know, more power to you. More power to you. Uh, and uh, and getting that happening. All right. Well, everybody. Well, everybody. This is Cambria. 
You know yeah, how Brian. how would how would uh you how how would uh how would people get a hold of you? You have a uh, you you have any uh, uh social media out there? How how would people get a uh, well? Um, you can reach me on Facebook at my name Cambria Harris. My you can hit me up on Instagram at plus underscore model underscore type. So plus model type on. Instagram. Um, basically, those are my two um, platforms. You can hit me up on YouTube. I'm Breezy Trucker. Uh, Are right, you say your Instagram is what now? The plus sign. What's damn, she no? Just, it's the it's just, the name plus. Oh, so plus underscore plus underscore underscore model. plus underscore model C joy underscore type. Oh wait, oh, okay. So plus underscore model. Whoops. Underscore type. Underscore type. God damn it, man! Type. So. So plus model type. Oh yeah, I used to be a model as well. I used to be a plus size model too. So okay, yeah, uh, a, okay, I know it all. okay. But well, there's uh there's me. I'm following you. So everybody can uh everybody can catch you at plus model type on Instagram. Uh, and trucker breezy Harris on YouTube. Trucker, what do you say? Trucker breezy. Was that B R I Z Z Y? Wait, 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 wait. What is uh-huh. it? B R E Z Y. Yeah, B R E E Z Y. E E Z Y. Trucker right. Breezy or Breezy Trucker? Trucker Breezy Harris. Oh, there you go. And I'll hit that subscribe button for you. Definitely hit that for you. All right. Trucker Breezy Harris. All right. All right. So everybody can go. All my platforms. So definitely go ahead and uh, check her out at Trucker Breezy Harris on YouTube. uh, And plus model type on, uh, on Instagram. So, Miss uh, Miss Cambria, thank you very much once again. So All right. I, it was a joy. All right, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Yo, guys, if you guys, you guys, if you interested in coming on to the show, definitely hit me up in the Gmail, lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com, or come over to the Instagram where you can hit me up in the DM, or just leave a comment in the comment below, and I would get at you guys that way. On that note, I appreciate Miss Plus Model Type coming on. Cambria Harris coming on, chopping it up with your boy. And if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell. Yes, sir. That bell for more content like this. And on that note, me and Miss Cambria, we are gone. All right. Bye. All right. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. I appreciate you coming on, hollering oh, you're at me. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. You're so welcome.